how to multiply and divide using Napier's bones. Now, these Napier's bones, or sometimes Napier's rods, were developed by a Scottish mathematician named John Napier uh, some 400 years ago now. You can use the ones that I gave you in class, or I made a new and improved version that has a zero bone. So if you want a copy of that, um, let me know. I can email that to you. So I'm presuming at this point you've cut them all out and you've got all your strips, one through nine, with or without the zero, and your index. So that means you are ready to go. All right, well the index just stays put. And let's look at just basically how these work by just putting one digit up against that. Let's put the seven bone up there. All right, so the seven bone, these numbers in the index simply tell us what that index is times that. So seven times two is 14. Seven times four, 28. Seven times seven, 49, so on. Seven times nine, 63. So these just list the multiples of whatever numbers at the top. So this just gives us that number times whatever multiple that is. So let's try something with a little more teeth to it. Let's try and do a calculation here. Let's do three times 17. All right. So I'm gonna take the one and the seven bones. I'm gonna place them right up against the index. So there's my 17. I wanna multiply three times 17, so I'm gonna go down here to the third row. Now these numbers right here are the numbers that are gonna give me my answer. I'm gonna start writing my answer from the back, so I'm gonna work from right to left. So the last digit of my answer will be whatever this last digit is in the row. So I know the last digit in my answer is gonna be a one. Now to get the next digit to the left, I'm just gonna add the numbers in the diagonal, two and three. Two plus three is five, so I'll put a five right there. And then I have a zero, don't need to write that, so I'm done. Three times 17 equals 51. Huh, that's neat, let's try, let's see if it works another way, let's get, let's try another one, let's say six times 89. All so I'm gonna take my eight, there it is, and my nine, I'll get these out of the way here. 89. All right, let's see here. So I've got um, six times 89, I'm coming down to the sixth row. So those are the numbers, I'm gonna give you my answer right now. I know that the last digit in my answer is going to be a four. So working to the left, it's gonna be the sum of these two. Five and eight is 13. So I'm gonna write the three and I'm gonna carry the one over to the next one. So this is just a four plus the one, gives me a five. So six times 89 is 534. Splendid, splendid. All right, let's try one with the three digits in it. Let's take five times 748. So in this case, I will take my seven. There it is. My four. Well, there it is. Come on now. And there's my eight. So you guys get out of there. All right, almost ready. Oh, ah, there we go. Five times 748. There's my 748. So I just come down here to row five. So my last digit is going to be a zero. Then four plus zero is four. Two plus five is a seven and a three. So five times 748 is 3,740. All right, I know what you want to do. You want to do one with four numbers. All right, let's do one. Let's say, I'm just going to make it up here. Six times five, four, nine, seven. Six times 5,497. So I'm going to go with five 
thousand four hundred and ninety seven. Six times five, four, ninety-seven. I'll come down here to row six. Looks like my last digit's going to be a two. And then four plus four is eight. Five plus four is nine. Two plus zero is two and a three. So six times five thousand four hundred ninety-seven, thirty-two thousand nine hundred and eighty-two. Now, using one set of bones, we're restricted, unless we do some clever manipulation, but we're restricted to using just single, we can't have any repeats, again, I'll do like 555. But if you needed to do that, you would just print off another set of bones and just have multiple sets of numbers. So if I had to do with 550, I could just put five, five, and zero there. So you just need another set of bones if you need to do double digits there. At this time, you're probably wondering, well, gee, that is really slick, but what if I want to do a two-digit number times a two-digit number? Well, let's do one. Let's say 37 times mm, 29. Well, I can view this as 30 times 29 plus 7 times 29. So my bones will handle that quite handily. So I'm going to put the 29 up against my index. Now, I want to do 30 times 29. Well, 30 times 29 is just 3 times 29 plus another 0. So I'm going to start by putting that zero that I know has got to be at the end. Now I'll just do 3 times 29. So that should be 7. 2 and 6 is 8. And 0. So 3 or 30 times 29 is 870. Now I'm going to do 7 times 29. So I'll come down here. There's no, this is just a straight calculation. So I'll just write it, my last digits, uh, 3. 6 and 4 is 10, so that's 0, carry the 1. 1 plus the 1 is 2. So now if I just add these up, 3, 7, and 10, it looks like 37 times 29 is 1,073. All right, let's do a three-digit times a three-digit. Let's take 512 times... Hmm, let's to 839. I have no idea what that's going to be, but I'm excited to find out. So as up here, I can view this as 500 times 839 plus 10 times 839 plus 2 times 839. So we'll just set up our bones. I need an eight and a three and a nine. Okie dokie. Now, first I'll do 500 times 839. So that is five times 839 plus another two zeros. So I'll start by just slapping those two zeros down there. And then I will uh, 5 times 839. So that should be a 5. 4 and 5 is 9. 1 and 0 is 1. And a 4. So 500 times 839 is 490,500. Now I'm going to take 10 times 839. Well, that's just going to be 839 plus a 0. So I can just write that down. 8 three, nine, zero. Lastly, I'll do two times 839. I can read that right off of here. My last digit's an eight. 
1 and 7 is 6. 6 and 0 is 6. And 1. I think I might have said 1 and 7 is 6. I meant 1 and 6 is 7. I've got to, you know, in case I misspoke there. All right, now just add these up. So there's an 8. 9 and 7 is 6. Carry the 1. That is 8. 9, that's 15. Carry the 1. That is 19. Carry the 1, 2, and a 4. So 512 times 839 is 429,568. Look at that. Hmm. Math. It's a wonderful thing. Is there nothing it can't do? Well, you're probably thinking that right now. You're thinking, well, can it? Can these miraculous bones do division? Well, sure they can. All right, let's try one. And let's try a good one, a real good one. Let's try 121. No, let's go 1 million. 210,203 divided by 47. How can our bones help us do that? Well, just like so. I'm going to set up the bones with my divisor, 47. Now I'm just going to use the standard method for long, doing long division, but I'll just use my bones to help me do the multiplication. So let's start here. Um, I know 47 is 1 to 1 or 12, but it goes in 121. Um, but it might not be obvious how many times. Well, our bones can tell us that. So I'm looking for a number that's not quite 121. So let's see. Let's say 2 is 94. 3 times would give me 141, so that's too much. So I know that 47 goes into 121 two times. And I just thought, figured out that that is 94. So that's going to be 94. Now I'm just going to bring everything down. 3, 0, 2, 0. And I'll do the subtraction here. So I'm going to have to break this down. That's 11. That makes that 11. 11 minus 4 is 7, and 11 minus 9 is 2. So again, 47 doesn't go into 2 or 27, but it goes into 270. Huh. I wonder how many times. Well, maybe my bones can help me out with that. I know that 47 times 3 is 141. That's no good. 47 times 4 is 188. Well, I'm going to try jump down here to 6. 47 times 6 is 282. That's too much. Must be 5. 47 times 5 is 235. There it is. So 47 times 5, I know that 47 goes into that 5 times. 5 times 47, we just saw, is 235. So I will bring this down. 3, 0, 2. And I'll do some traction here. I'll borrow from this, make that a 6. That's a 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 6 minus 3 is 3. 35203. Five, oh, three. Okay. So, does 47 go into 352? I'll bet it does, but how many times? Well, I know that 47 times 6 is 282. Let's see what 47 times 7 is. That would be 9, 2, carry the 1. Ooh, that's going to be it. And 8 is going to be too big, right? 376, sure. So it's going to be 7. I know that 47 goes into 352 at most 7 times. So let's move to 7 right there. Now we'll just figure this out here. I'm going to 7 times 47 is 9. 4 and 8 is 2. Carry the 1. 329. Now I'll bring down the 0 and the 3, and I'll do the subtraction here. Borrow from this, 12 minus 9 is 3, 4 minus 2 is 
two. Okay, does 47 go into 230? We know it does. Um, how many times though? Mm, 47 times five is 235, so it's gonna have to be a four, looks like. So four, okay. So four times 47 is eight. Two and six is eight and one, okay. Now I'll bring down this three. I'm gonna borrow from that. That's a two, make that a 10. 10 minus eight is two. And 22 minus 18 is four. So how many times is 47 going to 423? Heck if I know, but I'll bet I can figure it out by looking at my bones. And hopefully it'll go in there precisely. Let's see, let's go way down here. Let's look at eight here. Eight would be 376, that's too low. Mm, I like nine, so nine, let's do nine. Nine would be three. Six and six is 12, so that's two. Carry the one, three plus one is four. Look at that, ding, 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 ding. There's your answer right there, courtesy of Napier's Bones. Well, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope you enjoy your neighbor's bones as much as I do.